I don't think that fashion does matter in the workplace. I think what matters in the workplace is self-expression, individuality, and creativity, using fashion as a way to communicate something about you. It's a much, we're in much more of a narcissistic culture. We don't just follow trends anymore. We're looking to create our own look. Einstein's philosopher is a great example of having that signature flourish. Without it, he's unrecognizable. So voila, there's a great style lesson there. My top three tips for lab techies are as follows. I wear, I wear, I wear is the number one. Nine times out of 10, that's all people see of you is your head bobbing above a cubicle or a, a lab bench. So your eyewear should be um, very extraordinary. And the older you get, the more larger your eyewear should become. You should end up like Mr. Magoo with these just giant, or Yoko Ono, you know, huge shades. Color in the techie lab environment. You see a lot of people wearing grayish and beige and sham beige and champage as well. You know, there's nothing wrong with a bit of orange. Orange looks great with dark brown. Pale blue looks great with dark brown. Just like experiment a bit more with color. It's life enhancing for you and for those around you. So in a way, it's a form of politeness. Number three, for women, false eyelashes. While other girls were at beauty school learning to glue on it, lashes, um, you know, these super smart science girls were too busy, you'd head in a book, trying to sort of absorb this massive amount of information that they need to get their career going. So take a step back, be that chick who was at beauty school learning to glue on lashes. It's very transformative and it's kind of meditative and soothing. I wouldn't know personally, but the girls I know who do it tell me that.